Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to install the DAS to Cinema 4D plugin manually just by dragging and dropping the files. So this is how it's going to be when we are done with the installation. This is how you are going to see it just like I have mine here, here in script and this is it, DAS to Cinema 4D. And this technique is really useful if you've already tried the obvious technique you've tried installing it through DAS Central or maybe even the DAS Installation Manager. Alright, so this is it. These are the files open right here. I'll make sure to put this link in the description so you can go ahead and download it. Now, the first one you see here is Cinema 4D. We have from Cinema 4D 16 to R22. So you are going to go to your Cinema 4D directory and so go to programs files maxon cinema 4d and plugins so here in the plugin you want to drag and drop this plugin folder here so drag and drop the dash cinema 4d plugin folder into the cinema 4d plugin folder now we are done with the first one let's move to the second one so go to your local disk Go to Dust 3D application data. Go to install manager manifest files and copy this manifest and supplement. Copy and paste it here. And now let's move on to the next one. Go to the local disk. Go to Dust applications 64 bit. Go to Dust and Dust Studio 4 now here we have okay now let's go into this one so here you want to copy the items inside the docs so go inside the docs and here you can select plugins go inside the plugins and copy and paste the dash to cinema 4d plugin in there so this is it just copy and paste the folder okay then let's move to the resources so go again click on the resources here you can find the image and what you want to do is go to icons and here you can copy and paste the icon image okay let's move to the script you want to do the same thing again for the script go to the script Go inside the script folder and go to support and DAS. So copy the DAS to Cinema 4D support file in here. So you can see I already have mine so I don't need to do that again. Okay now let's move on to the next one. So go to your users. Now we are looking for a file name app data. If you don't see updater, you can go to view here and in the windows and then check hidden items. Then go inside the updater, all right, and go inside the roaming folder. Click on the roaming folder and go to Dust 3D. Click on this folder, Studio 4, and here you can find the run once folder. So what you want to do is copy and paste the folder there. Okay, that is it and now you should be good to go. So let's just fire up Dust 3D and take a look. Okay, here in Dust 3D, uh, let me just drop in a Genesis 8 mil figure. Alright, I'm going to select a material for him. Okay, there we go. And I'm going to give him some clothing. Okay, just for extra details, I'm going to drop in this arrow and you can see, oh, uh, that must have hurt. Yeah. Anyways, so now when you have everything ready, you want to go to at the top here, you want to go to script, then bridges, then here you can see does to cinema 4D and click it. So now it's doing its preparation of exporting the object to Cinema 4D. And when it's done, you can open up Cinema 4D. And in Cinema 4D, you can go to plugins and dash to Cinema 4D. 
then here you can click auto import to import the object okay and also you can save textures or leave it for later for me i'm just going to click later all right so and here you can change the materials to v-ray redshift and octane if you want to do that okay look at it we even got our spear <laughs> ouch and also you can auto ik so after importing if you want to change it from forward kinematics to invert kinematics you can do that when you click this auto ik button it's going to do its thing and boom you can see this automatic inverse kinematics that you can select and move your character however you want okay that is how you do it that is how you can install the das to cinema 4d plugin so go on bring in your characters props set you name it do as you wish all right that is it for this video don't forget to subscribe like if you like this video share and i will see you in the next one